All right, we're rolling. Yo, 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 it's Big T. Don't worry. I know you thought I forgot about you. You thought I forgot about you. I didn't forget about you guys. I, I promise. I promise. You know how life's been lately, you know? This whole COVID thing going on and unemployment and just everything, man. It's been crazy, guys. It's been crazy. Now it's nice out. You know, there's no more snow. Um, it was a long winter, by the way. God, it was a long winter. Been trying to get the house all fixed up. Uh, we just moved into a new house uh, last year, uh, late last year. And uh, been trying to get some space set up so we could do a little smoking indoors. I have that now. Um, at least it's functional. It's not 100% where I want it to be, but it's functional. So uh, we're gonna start getting back into this thing. I've been doing a ton of yard work lately, guys. A ton. There's so much to catch up on. I don't even have time to catch up on it right now. Right now we're in Jenison, AKA Old Stomping Grounds, Granville area. That's right. You know where I'm at. Wild Bills. Picked up a couple of sticks for tonight. We got two of the Hoya, the AJ Fernandez Hoyas, the red white label. Those are tasty and because they got the buy one get one deals on the Hoyas as well as Punch, Rare Corojo, the Gusto which comes in one of these fancy dancy uh, tubes pretty sure I paid two dollars for the tube but you know it is what it is guys it is what it is I'm gonna try and make this short and sweet because uh, we got to get back to Holland wifey's waiting on us just dropped the kid off at my parents' house. We're kid free tonight. We got family from out of town stopping by. It's a little hot out, but we might have a bonfire. Some brewskis. And you know what, this was a spur of the moment thing too, so I came very unprepared. I don't have my lighter. I had to buy one of these cheap $4 cutters. We're going with the Wild Bells matches. It's going down, guys, it's going down. Why the foam? I don't understand. Why the foam? To keep it from touching the tube? Out. Oh, that smells so good. Look at this. Look at this. So beautiful. I love that red and gold, man. It's just it's so nice. Dark and medium to dark style natural wrapper. Got a few seams. Got some... Uh, Got some veins on it there. Smells like the inside of a humidor. <laughs> tobacco, tobacco. It's a nice little tube though. I like those little tubes. Let's see how my sniffer's doing today. Oh, I'm picking up something a little spicy on the end. It almost reminds me of like cinnamon. A little cinnamon on the foot. Call it the Cinefoot. We gotta get this rolling, guys. Wife's gonna be texting me any minute. Where are you at? That's when we tell her, don't you worry about it, baby. I'm coming. I'm coming. We're feeling good, guys. We're feeling good. The sun's out. I've got, you probably can't tell, my arms are nice and tan. I've been doing a crap ton of yard work, guys. A crap ton of yard work. I am. The last few, I'm feeling pretty good today. But the last few days, man, I have been wore out from the floor out. I tell you what, got too many projects going on. There's a little spiciness in there. It does taste a little cinnamony. Cinnamony, though. Cinnamony. There's like a red hot cinnamon flavor in there. Crazy. It's crazy. There you go.
Lots and lots of smoke output. We're gonna hit it one more time. I might regret not having anything to drink with this one, but uh, we'll get something when we get back. All right, good enough, good enough. Good enough for who we are, as my uncle used to say. All right, guys, let's get this show on the road, shall we? We got the AC kicking today. It's about 86 degrees here in Michigan. And it ain't even fucking summer yet. So this is the Punch Rare Corojo. It's got a spicy kick to it. It's like a... It's like an oily black pepper spice. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Guys, I've got a big package coming in. Actually, I got a lot of big packages coming in, but uh, we made a few investments in the last week or so. Um, I got a decent amount of uh, cigars coming from Cigars Daily to refill the Humi. It's getting a little low. It's getting a little low, so we gotta top her off a little bit. kick on this thing is relentless not terrible though not terrible yes yeah, so we got a big package coming guys uh, I think I got a five pack sampler um, some filthy Vikings you know the basics So I'll do an unboxing for that once it comes in, um, and you guys get to see the new smoking area. Got the bar all set up downstairs. Looks pretty nice. Needs a little work yet, but uh, we're saving all the indoor projects for the winter time. Right now I'm kind of focused on the yard. I'm trying to put in a big old garden, man. Vegetables are so expensive these days. It's, it's, I swear, it's more expensive to eat healthy than it is to eat unhealthy. That's what's wrong with America. I can go to the Mickey D's right across the street over here and buy a cheeseburger for a buck and a half. But I swear you go to the grocery store and try to buy an apple. Go bankrupt. It's insane. So I'm gonna be hanging out with you for a minute. Still haven't really come up with any uh, any better editing software. So uh, we're gonna try to do this in one take. So be patient with me guys, be patient. We're jumping on the freeway here. Got to swing back by the bank. Put some money in. Got to pay them bills. Yeah, so we got that. Hopefully you can hear me all right. We got that oily black pepper in there. We got a nice solid tobacco core. Piece of the wrapper that just came off on my lip. So you know, we're rolling, we're rolling. Spicy 
retro, spicy. That black pepper really comes through on the retro. Um, so it's kind of weird. It's kind of like an oily yet dry pepper because going through the retro, it feels very dry on the nasal passages. However, it's an oily pepper because it's coating my tongue. And uh, I think I'm definitely going to regret... Ugh, regret? See, I can't even talk. Definitely going to regret not having anything to drink. This is going to suck. Luckily, we're not far from home. Burn looks like it's going pretty well, surprisingly. Uh, mascara line, we're looking at... Like a medium. Not terrible. Thick, billowy smoke. So far, so good. Kind of wondering what the strength is on this, though. That'd be another reason why I'd want something to drink. I don't know about you guys, but I have a hard time with the really strong ones. Just because, uh... Well, let me tell you a little story, right? I'm sure I've told this story before, but... My very first ever cigar... Well, actually, my second cigar ever smoking... Was, uh, the CAO La Traviata. I went to the, uh, local B&M... After Brother Rob had graciously given me an acid blondie, and I asked, I asked the guy at the BNM, I said, "So, uh, I'm new to smoking cigars." He goes, "Okay, do you know what you're looking for?" I said, "Well, I've tried an acid blondie; those are really good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely want another one of those." He goes, "Okay, we can get you one of those." He says, uh, "And what else?" And I said, "Well, I don't know. What would you recommend?" He goes, "Well, why don't you try the La Traviata by CAO?" Oh, okay. He goes, yeah, after you smoke that one, you'll know whether or not you want to smoke cigars. And I just kind of was like, okay. Man. I swear, that is the sickest I have ever been in a long time. And I mean a long time. I thought I was dying. No joke, guys. No joke. So I'm kind of a fan of like the more mild mediums. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky. I'm in the car, obviously. I've got the uh, good old cell phone recording from the uh, the windshield mount. So I'll tell you what, guys. I, I'm excited to get back into this start sharing with you guys all the projects I've been working on but I'm mostly excited for June vacation baby vacation I'm taking a nice long trip we're gonna go see my wife's folks down in Arkansas for about a week and then we're gonna cruise on over to Louisiana go see the ocean get some good grub hit up a zoo over there the zoo is supposed to have elephants. The kids will love that, man. Oh, they're going to love it. And then after we're done in Louisiana for a couple days, we're going to shoot on over to Nashville. Check out the sights. I think the Nashville, they've got the uh, Newport Aquarium. We're gonna check that out. That'll be fun. Go see some sharks, some squids. I tell you what, you know what, you know what sold me on the aquarium rig? Right? Because it is a little pricey, don't get me wrong. It's a little pricey. Not as pricey as Chicago. Chicago is expensive, but uh, it's a little pricey. And uh, I was looking through the reviews and the QA section on Google, you know, and somebody, and somebody, somebody put on there. How's the fishing, question mark? You know what they answered back with? The moderator answered, um, dot, 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 not allowed, question mark? <laughs> Dude, that sold me on it. 
Like you get for your moderator to answer like that, you know you got a good group of people working there, man. That's gonna be fun. I can't wait. So we're gonna do a couple days in Nashville and then uh, our, our last stop for our roundabout trip is gonna be in Kentucky. Going to Kentucky! Not for the Derby though, not for the Derby. No, we're gonna check out, um, they've got uh, a campground there. Oh, by the way, did I forget to mention, the best part about this entire trip, no hotels. No room service, no concierge, no baggage check, no airplanes, we're driving. But we're also camping. That's right. That's one of my favorite things in the world, man. I love camping. My wife, yeah, not so much. But we got a nice little pop-up from my in-laws. I fixed it up nice and good. Maybe we'll get some, uh, we'll get some footage on the road and whatnot camping. Got my uh, my sister-in-law and her husband coming with. They're good crowd. We're gonna spend some time in the good old outdoors. I can't get enough of it, man. I love nature. But uh, anyway, so in uh, Kentucky, they've got a campground that has horse trails and fishing lakes and a golf course. I ain't doing any golfing, though. I ain't that good a golfer. Trust me, you do not want to see me swing a driver. Negative. Not my thing. But fishing? Oh yeah, you bet your ass I'll do some fishing. You know, this uh, cigar is starting to smooth out a little bit, guys. That oiliness from the peppers kind of dying down just a little bit, just a little bit. We got some nice white ash accumulating on the tip here. The burn still seems very nice. I'm surprised. I gotta admit, I was very much contemplating when I was like, hey, why don't we stop by some Wild Bills and get some cigars for tonight? Like I said, the humidor is kind of empty. You know, I, I got some little BS cigars in there, you know, for whatever non-special occasions. But I, I wanted something decent, right? And I walked out of there with four cigars for like 25 bucks and under. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. Especially for two punch and uh, two AJs. Man, that's a good deal. catch you up on a few things, right? I, uh, I quit my job. I've been a stay-at-home dad now for, well, in a couple months here, it'll be a year. Stay-at-home dad for about a year. Um, wife's been working on and off a couple different places. Bills are getting paid. No worries there. Bills are getting paid, so it's whatever. Just been trying to catch up on a lot of stuff, man. Yard work, and I'm just glad it's nice out now and we can be outside. Winter kills me, man. I'm not a winter kind of guy. I hate winter. And don't get me wrong, I live in Michigan, so I don't mind the snow. I don't even mind driving in the snow, okay? It's just the fact that it's cold. Everything's dormant. Nothing's going on. It's just snowing and being cold. Yeah, you get your sunshine, but it's not the same, man. It's not the same. I love spring, summer. Fall's okay. Bonfires and brews, hell yeah. Nothing beats a nice spring or summer day, though. Like right now, it might be 84 degrees. It's hot. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sweating my ass off the last few days doing all that yard work. But you know what? It's good for the soul. It's good for the soul. I like it. I like it a lot.
picked up a few new hobbies. Obviously been neglecting some of my previous hobbies. I apologize. But we're back. That's right, we're back. I've been getting my tan on. I got that good old farmer thing going. It was really funny. I made that comment the other day to my dad. Stop by his shop, pay off some bills and stuff, and uh, well, pay off my my auto account. And uh, I was wearing I was wearing uh, shorts. Some of these uh, I don't know. I don't know what you call them. They're not Crocs, but they're not sandals. They fit like a sandal, but they've got a closed toe on them. They're not Crocs, though. I assure you. Sketchers, I like them. They're comfy. Surprisingly, actually, they better be comfy. Thirty-five dollars. Damn right, they better be comfy. Like the only well, that, I was about to say that's expensive, but I did spend one hundred seventy-five on a pair of work boots. That I still have, by the way, going on like three or four years now. And then uh, I spent like fifty bucks on some DCs. They're cool DCs though. Black and camo. Black and camo. Black and camo. Yeah. No, but uh, I showed up wearing shorts, my, my, my holy shoes, whatever you want to call them, my sketches. I was wearing a wife beater and suspenders. And my dad goes, holy cow, you are old McDonald. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm going to get a sign for my garden that says McDonald's Farm. Hmm. Guess what, guys? I got chickens. Yes, I do. Wife wanted chickens. We had six. One of the poor little buggers died, but we still got five of them. A couple different breeds. I'm trying to get that uh, self-sustaining thing going, you know. Vegetable garden, chickens for the eggs. got the AC running but it's getting a little toasty up in here guys well that's why I got it on floor only well, no wonder why I'm hot heat rises big T yes it does so yeah we had some extra funds come in lately so uh, like I said we've been paying off some bills I'm gonna try and either uh, well I'll tell you what I'm gonna try to do right I've been talking about this for a while I need a truck I'm gonna try and find me a, a decent, uh, used, cost-effective, cash-down, or 
cash in hand rather truck while I'm down south and see if I can manage to pull that one off. If I can, it'd be smart to some new wheels. Uh, the easy way. If not, the other option is to pay this bugger off and uh, get another loan. See how well that works. This guy's gonna ride my tail. That's okay though, we gotta get oh shit, we gotta get over here. Man, I hate driving in the city. Hate it, hate it, hate it. At least Holland's not as bad as GR. So it's a thick billowy smoke on this one guys, but it's uh it's pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. Starting to get a little wonky on the burn. Hopefully that evens out a little bit. Flavor profile's on point though. It's just a tad dry, but uh, I've been really thirsty lately, guys. It's like I can't even get enough. It's crazy. Probably the heat. I can go for a tall, cold beverage right about now. I tell you what. That'd be nice, so nice. This cigar is actually burning kind of slow. I don't even know if I'll get a full, uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna get a full stick in by the time I get back to the house, which I mean, I should have known that anyhow, right? Because typically, a decent cigar will last you a good couple hours, you know, hour and a half minimum. Especially for like a Robusto size. Hour and a half is about right. What is this? I'll put it back in there. That's alright. Anyhow. So yeah, I don't have any notes on this one, guys. But uh, the Punch Rare Corojo. I don't know if I ever did a review for it. But I, I, I want to say I've smoked this one before. Definitely not the Tubo. It's not the one with the tube. And yes, I said tubo, not tuba. There's an O on it. Man, I hope tonight goes well, guys. We're gonna have everybody over at the house. If it cools off a little bit once the sun goes down, we might do a bonfire, we'll see. Let, well, I was about to say let the kids run around the yard, but I, <laughs> you ain't got no kids. Grownups only. Well. I don't know, Emma might be kicking around. She's at the in-laws. If they decide to come over and hang for a little while. We told them that the uh, the stipulation is, though, that uh, since the kids stay the night with you, you get to watch them. <laughs> I tell you what, guys, I love being a parent, but sometimes it's just downright exhausting. And my oldest is only four. Got a long way to go. Tell you what, though, I get out there working in that garden makes me feel old. My knees are getting bad, guys. It's from, it's from carrying all this weight around for so long. The majority of my life I've been obese. So they say. I don't know, though. I, I'm not too awful worried about it, right? YOLO and all that. I mean, you look at the BMI index, and they say for a guy that's 6'5", my age group, which I'm almost 30, it's supposed to be 165. Yeah, right. Be a freaking bobblehead, man. Wouldn't that be funny? 165, I'd fly away with a good gust of wind. I just wanted to hop on here, guys, and let you know that I ain't forgot about you. I, I haven't. Trust me, every time I get on YouTube, look at my garden and stuff, I see you guys right there. I see you. I ain't forgot about you. My focus has just been shifted a little bit, that's all. We got a lot of pans in the fire. A lot of pans in the fire. On 
a side note, since this is my channel, I can self-promote. Not only are we doing the cigar reviews again, we're going to dabble in a little bit of streaming for video games. So you can check out my Twitch account. For those of you who don't know what Twitch is, Twitch is a streaming platform typically used for gamers, but I'm sure there's some other stuff on there too. It's a free live streaming uh, app and website. You can check me out at Big T Streams, capital B, lowercase i g, capital T, lowercase s t r e a m s. Big T Streams. Check me out on Twitch. I also created another uh, YouTube channel, Big T Gaming. You can check out some of my content there, as well as Big T Gaming on Facebook and Instagram. If you're wondering why the name is different for Twitch, it's because apparently Big T Gaming is already a thing on Twitch. Or something like that. I don't know. Whichever way it was, they didn't let me use it, so I had to come up with something. And I figured it's a streaming service, so why not call it Big T Streams? <laughs> See what that? See what I did there? It's called a workaround. Gotta love it. So yeah, you can check that out. That's my new uh one of my new hobbies. Typically, I'm streaming Call of Duty, so first-person shooter game, um, and uh, lately on Fridays, I've been streaming a game called Warframe, which is, <sighs> I forget what the acronym is, guys, uh, but kind of like World of Warcraft, big open map with a storyline, lots of new information to take in. It's been a bit of a struggle. I've only played it twice, but it's a good game. I can feel it. Not exactly my cup of tea, but uh, we're working on it. We're working on it. I like the first person shooters, man. I do. We're almost to the bank here, thank goodness. I already know it, guys. The wife's gonna be like, what took you so long? Well, dear. <laughs> Stuff to do, you know. Oh, Big B. I bet you uh, an iced mocha would pair excellent with this stick. And we can get some brownie points. If they're open, they should be. Come on, y'all. I swear, guys, I don't have road rage, but some people just test my patience sometimes. Especially those people that turn their turn signal on the last minute. I hate that. You know what really grinds my gears? No copyright. I'm the one that said it. I didn't use his voice. Holy moly. A long line at the ice cream joint. It's a good day for it too. All right, now we gotta find the wallet. That can be a little difficult sometimes. Hey, look at that. Oh. Money. guys bear with me for a minute here gotta make a deposit a deposit don't be listening to those keystrokes either no, I'm just playing
hope everybody's doing well, man. I know it's been a rough year. Oop. I almost put in the wrong pin. She just texted me to you, hang on. All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. Maybe, maybe. Cash deposit has been completed. I am finished. Sorry about that, y'all. Wife texted me and she gets understandably moody when I don't answer back, so. I think we're gonna skip the mocha and just head on back to the homestead. Uh oh Oh no! Oh no! experiencing some uh, major technical difficulties there but uh, I think we got it now guys anyway yeah so we're gonna skip the mocha although I do think a good mocha would pair excellent with this cigar just because the sweetness of the mocha and that kind of like that rich coffee in there I think would be a very good pairing for this stick Oh no, it went out. It went out, guys. Not good. did go out, but uh, I think we got her back now. We got her back. <coughs> I let it rest too long. I let it rest too long. Okay, so I've got a project for you guys. Hear me out. Even though the wife's probably killing me because I've been spending a lot of money lately, but all on tangible good items, investments. I haven't been spending money, I've been investing money in tangible items. However, anyway, so the project, right? I've got my nice quad jet vertigo. Don't get me wrong. Great lighter. I love it. Works great. However, I have a feeling that it might be lighting my cigars too well. Or it could just be the fact that lately I've been smoking cheaper cigars. And by lately, I mean like one every month. Funds have been a little tight, but we're back on top. That's the funny thing about the universe, guys. Eventually, everything evens out. Remember that. Eventually, it all evens out. However, back to the lighter. I like it, but for some cigars, I think the tobacco gets too hot. And I know what you're probably gonna say. You don't need a quad jet. You're right, I don't. But I already have it, so I'm able to use it, right? It's either that or my single jet. And for a big old cigar like this, I just doesn't cut it. So, if anybody 
watching this video knows where I can get a nice maybe two or three jet butane lighter I'm not picky on brand it just needs to work consistently let me know and I mean I, I want a good one now I can go out and I could spend you know 50 to 100 dollars on a quote unquote good cigar lighter right I really don't want to have to do that when I got a perfectly viable quad jet the other problem I have with the quad jet however is it seems like every time I pick this bugger up it's empty Scare me there, fellow. Keep in your own lane, would you? Huh. <laughs> Subaru almost had a super don't. But yeah, every time I pick it up, I feel like I get like two cigars off of it and then I gotta refill it again. I don't think I have a leak. I don't think I broke anything on it. It still works fine, twice. And then I gotta refill it again. Maybe it's just because it's a smaller lighter. I, I don't know. But, let me know in the comments. Oh, don't mind that. Oh, yeah, guys, I picked up a bagger for my lawnmower today. I got a 42-inch Craftsman rider, right? Brand new. The bagger unit for that model is $400. Well, $399.99, $400. I picked this one up from a fellow over in GR. This thing's like, I mean, it's not brand new, okay? It's not brand new, but all the parts are there. Still functions good, it's in good shape, it's clean. Guess how much I paid for it. Go ahead, I'll, I'll wait. You ready? $96. Sorry, $95, $95. I don't know why I said 96. I like, I like round even numbers. I don't like these fives and threes and sevens. I like numbers like two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? This guy, no. This guy appreciates good deals on Facebook. That's what this guy appreciates. See, my dilemma has been that I've got these giant frickin' maple trees in my yard. You might remember. And it's that time of season. Yes, that's right. Where the helicopters come to land all over Big T's yard. So it was either get a bagger or get a sweeper. And all the sweepers I've looked at online, even on Facebook, we're talking $55 for a little pull-behind sweeper when I could spend $96 and get a bagger and dump everything in my compost pile to turn around and use it as soil for my garden? Now we're talking, guys. Now we're talking. Big T making big plays here. That's what we're doing. All right, guys. So we're almost back to the in-laws, so this video is going to come to an end here shortly. As you can see, we're about halfway through here, almost to the band. I actually moved this band up just a little bit to get it out of the way. Very smooth stick. The punch, rare Corojo. Highly recommend it. It's very good. If I were to like put a name on it, other than you know rare Corojo, I would say it's the big brother to the punch signature. We all know how good the punch signatures are. This would be the big brother. And by big brother, I mean stouter flavor. Maybe just a little bit higher on the, uh, the potency. It's a good stick, guys. It's a good stick. So anyway, like I said, hope everybody's doing good. I know I am. Gave my life story. Check back here in a couple days. Hopefully I'll have that boxing or 
or that box rather within the next week or two and uh, we can do an unboxing video it's coming from Arizona that's where Cigar Daily is so uh, might take a little bit you know shipping's crazy especially with the whole COVID and yada 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 but uh I'm gonna get off of here guys we're gonna go do some partying grown up time all right guys take it easy like subscribe for more content and I'll see you next time Take it easy, guys.